so I uh, had been uh, interesting, you know, uh, for any kinds of solid acids or, or bases uh, catalysts. You know. At that, uh, you know, uh, situation, uh, uh, Dr. Cardo, the vice president of uh, CBMM in the Asia office. He's, a, he's a, a vice president of the Oriental office of CBMM. He, you know, visited my uh, university as a laboratory uh, where he explains the niobium situation. Now it is uh, very important to be used uh, for steel you know, mixture you know, or alloying. No, uh, it's a metal, you know. Uh, however, at that time, steel industry is not so high and not so good, you know. <laughs> and they're going down, you know. Yeah. So uh, he said, you know, uh, niobium, uh, he asked me uh, if uh, niobium compounds can be used, you know. Uh, for, uh, as a catalyst, they're very interesting, you know, he says, you know. Uh, then uh, I uh, measured, uh, he brought the sample, I measured and found uh, niobic, uh, niobium oxide hydroxide. So uh, niobium oxide calcined 300 degrees centigrade, you know. It shows a very uh, large amount of acid charge and uh, uh, st acid strength is uh, co uh, corresponding to 50% of sulfuric acid. You know. Then uh, we started, you know, uh, niobium uh, oxide hydroxide. Uh, I tried to use for uh, esterification reaction, uh, as I expected, you know. This is uh, very, and uh, niobic, you know, oxide, hydroxide, it's, uh, well, blessed acid, acid site, uh, made, uh, it, when calcined 100 degrees centigrade. If you calcine uh, niobium with the compound, uh, at 300 degrees centigrade, uh, only Lewis acid appears. So it, uh, uh, it can be used as uh, a useful catalyst for uh, branched acid catalyzed reaction. And uh, you know, if you calcine at a little higher temperatures, it can be used to, well, uh, the, the other, no? uh, Lewis acid uh, catalyzed reaction, you know. Oh, it's uh, very effective uh, compared, you know. So now you will meet the best thing. Uh, we uh, ma, uh, studied various kinds of, uh, uh, well, acid catalyzed reaction because uh, Niobe had, you know, uh, branched uh, acid site and also Lewis acid site, you know. Anyway, uh, as acid, it's very active uh, for uh, uh, the synthesis of various uh, organic compounds, you know. And we uh, so to, 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 you know, tried many reactions. Now, uh, that, then we found, you know, uh, well, it's uh, an iobic acid. It's a unique uh, uh, solid acid. So, uh, among, uh, you know, uh, various kinds of solid acid catalysts, niobium compounds are uh, uh, different, unique. Now, that uh, many, many years ago, I, I wrote this one, unusual solid acid <laughs> catalyst. You know? And uh, Sumitomo Chemical Industry and uh, or many other uh, companies, uh, pharmaceutical or, chemi you know, industrial chemical company were used niobium and many, many patents uh, were, were uh, 
uh, approved by in Japan and in the United States. You know. Sumitomo Chemical com Company industrialized the niobium process, you know, catalyst, for the first time. I wrote this one, uh, niobium catalyst repair kit, but the referee uh, answer. Uh, the title is not you know, interesting. The title, you know, uh, catalyst repair kit. Uh, this now uh, in that uh, paper, uh, in any reaction, not uh, only acid-base catalysis, oxidation reduction reaction, you know, but uh, now activity is not so ideal. Uh, they are a little lower ex uh, than expected. You know. Or well, uh, selectivity, well, uh, is uh, uh, well, uh, good, you know, selectivity is good, and catalyst life is important in the industry, you know. Uh, any kind of uh, catalyst, not only solid acid based catalysis, any, many oxidation reaction, reduction reaction, well, uh, niobium additive, cause, you know, high, you know, improve any kind of reaction, you know. Ah, or else, uh, this is, you know, uh, little, you know, uh, insufficient, not sufficient uh, 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 activity, selectivity, and uh, life of a catalyst, you know, from the viewpoint of three points, well, uh, it's not so uh, good. In that case, uh, uh, if one uh, put niobium, you know, where uh, many <laughs> type of reactions and uh, insufficient, you know, property, or well, it's improved. That is the po point. The, my last, uh, you know, paper. <laughs> uh, so, you know, in future, uh, this type uh, field you know, maybe bec become very important. Now, at the present, you know, now uh, many, many papers, you know, uh, after uh, I, you know, discovered niobium is uh, benzoate and uh, Lewis acid and uh, uh, catalyzed various reactions, you know, uh, so interesting material. So, at that time, uh, in university and in chemical companies, you know, uh, they used niobium, huh? and they uh, in industry many many patents. So fundamental research also uh, necessary, but I am always uh, interested in application, you know, practical application. You know? uh, but uh, uh, fundamental research uh, now with uh, many you know, instrument we have, you know. Uh, if you want to do that, you know, uh, such a, and the reason, you know, why and, uh, Mitsubishi Chemical Corporation, you know, is now and uh, recently uh, announced. Um, uh, it will be then to styrene. You know, it's an important reaction, you know, to make a polymer platinum on niobia. This is support effect of niobium. You know. Oh, it's good, you know. They use the various kinds of metal oxide as support. That's not good, you know. Niobium oxide is uh, where well, it's useful even as a catalyst support. So I uh, expect, you know, uh, many you know, uh, university professors and uh, chemical companies, you know, researchers, you know, uh, will try and continue uh, the uh, effect of niobium compounds to various uh, reactions. You know. I am now re re retired, after I retired from Hokkaido University you know, uh, 25 years, you know, uh, and so I worked, you know, consult uh, worked as a consultant in chemical company, you know, but uh, now uh, uh, almost 90 years old, you know. so I have to retire again. <laughs>